Hi friends, how are we doing today? So I'm going to be talking to you about the important things summarizer for chapter four on solubility. The purpose of this is to create a study tool um, and to form as an alternative assessment of the main ideas and the, and the supporting details of this chapter. The objectives uh, of this assignment are going to be a couple. Number one, the most important thing is, is that you're going to be trying to identify and communicate um, your own words, the main idea behind solubility. And then you want to support this with some details from our work in Chapter 4. As you go about doing this, particularly in the rough draft, you want to go ahead and review your notes, your readings, and your experiments to glean the facts and the main idea. And then, after you get some feedback from your teacher, you want to go ahead and revise your writing to communicate in dense, concise information. This is called the important thing because it's going to roughly follow the pattern established by uh, and repeated in each page of Margaret Wise Brown's book called The Important Book um, that she published in 1949. And the pattern of the book is very simple. The very first line is the important thing about blank is blank. So yours is going to say the important thing about solubility is main idea. And then detail, detail, detail. And the last line of this whole thing is going to be basically the identical to the first line. But the important thing about solubility is blank. So there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. There are really two styles of how you can do your important thing. Style one is just sort of a standard paragraph. The very first line of your paragraph is the important thing is. And the last sentence of your paragraph is, but the important thing is. The other way you can do it is by a poem style. Same kind of idea. You're going to still use that format. You're just a little bit more free form in how you're sort of writing. Uh, the poem may or may not rhyme. It's entirely up to you in terms of creating it. So let me, let's take a look at some examples. So this is the example number one, um, based upon a book called Thank You, Amelia Bedelia. One of the things that I want you to notice is that the very first line here, the important thing about Amelia Bedelia is that she tried to do everything people asked her to do. Okay, that is the first line. Um, and then notice how each, each sentence that follows is a supporting detail that specifically relates and connects to this important thing. When Miss Brown asked her to strip the sheets, she stored the sheets in a strips, even though she didn't understand why someone would want to do that. When she asked Amelia to remove the spots from her dress, Amelia cut out the dots. Please separate the eggs, said Miss Brown. So Amelia put one on top of the cabinet, one in the bowl, one on the stove, and another top of the refrigerator. Now, also notice the last line, exactly identical as the first, it says, but. Okay, so but the important thing about Amelia Bedelia is that she tried to do everything she asked. This is an example of a paragraph style. It's also a really great example of how the supporting facts connect ultimately back to the, uh, to the main idea of the important thing. So that's what you're striving for in terms of that connection. The Earth, this is a, a poem style. This is a little bit more free form. I want you to notice how it's sort of organized. It's just less good about sort of each of these facts necessarily connecting back to sort of that key main idea. And so as you can read through that, you can see that example. So how are you going to be evaluated in this project? Um, essentially, the rubric is based upon these essential concepts. Um, you're going to get uh, how well written it is, clear, easy, concise to understand. That's about roughly worth about 2% or two, per, 2 points. 2 points demonstrates the understanding of the key ideas about solubility. In other words, how is your main, uh, how is your important thing? Is it really a main idea? Then mechanics, spelling, punctuation, that's also going to be a factor. And then finally, each detail up to five and accurate valid details. So the goal here is for you to have spot five, at a minimum, five specific details. If you have more than the five specific details, that's gravy. That'll give you an extra credit of, you know, basically one, a one quarter bonus percentage point is a good way to think about that. All right. So I hope you enjoy working on this project. Uh, your rough draft is due uh, on Friday, the 21st. Uh, we look forward to taking a look at these and reading them. Peace out.